Welcome to the City Council meeting for November 12, 2013. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, I just want to take a minute before we start uh, since our last meeting. Uh, the city lost a longtime public servant, a uh, longtime school committeeman, Fred Stanton, passed away. I'd like to have a moment of silence in his memory. Thank you. Item number one. The reappointment of Daniel L. Campbell, 16 Belcher Avenue, Brockton, as the constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years. Refer to finance. We have a communication from the library director requesting approval of a grant in the amount of $3,500 from Federal Library Services and Technology Act grant, which is administered by the Mass Board of Library Commissioners. The purpose is to fund a preservation consultant to review the library's preservation needs and current practices. This grant requires a match in the amount of $3,500. The library has funds in its accumulated state aid account to cover this match. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have the petition of General Realty Trust for a garage license located at 10 Pinkham Street in Clerk's Office, August 1, 2013, hearing assigned for October 28, 2013, in Council October 28, 2013. Councilor Studinsky motion to postpone until next meeting and was properly seconded. The motion carried by a hand vote. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and give your name to the clerk. John Renicki, uh, I'm with General Realty Trust, one of the owners. Councilor Stavinsky. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, evening. How are you? Very good. Thank you, sir. Uh, I, I just want to ask you one or two questions. The people who are going to rent from you, have they been in touch with you? Yes, they have. Okay. Uh, they have a little uh, delay with their license. Uh, they haven't got it sent back from the fire department yet, and the fire, fire chief hasn't signed it and that I was in contact with the fire department and that will be done this week then the public notices will go out and for the whole hearing thank you very much mm -hmm. thank you mr president thank you councillor on that the garage license the uh, fire department has no objections on it and all the necessary paperwork is on file thank you very much mr clerk i'd make a motion that uh, uh actually uh well, let me just finish the hearing is, is there anyone else here in favor Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, Do you have any stipulations you're looking for? Uh, no, no, stipulations uh, on a no not, not to this particular license. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Yes. McMillan. Yes. yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Yes. Nine in the the license is granted. Thank you. Uh, hold on. We have another one. Same guy? Yes. Okay. Petition of General Realty Trust for a garage license located at 967 Montello Street in City Clerk's Office, July 22nd, 2013. Hearing assigned for October 28th, 2013. In Council, October 28th, 2013. Council Studinsky motion to postpone until the next Council meeting and was properly seconded. The motion carried by a hand vote. All the necessary paperwork <coughs> is on file and the Fire Department has no objections. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please give your name to the clerk. John Rodnicki. Thank you, Mr. President. John, th thank you very much again. Uh, I, I just wanted to make a comment to you and my fellow counselors. I mean, by both pieces of property, and I, I very much like the way you've handled the takeover and what you've done. I don't have any particular questions about this, so I'm going to pass the uh, one to the president and have him do what he needs to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? <coughs> Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. The question is now on granting the garage license. All those in favor? Opposed? The garage license is granted. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good night.
We have an appropriation of $3,500 from Library Services and Technology Act, Preservation Assessment Grant to the City of Brockton Public Library Grant Fund. Council Sullivan. Mr. President, I'd like to take uh, number seven on the agenda under suspension of rules and act on it tonight. Second. And, uh, Ms. Wolf, the library director, is here tonight if we have any questions. But because it is late in the calendar year and we're only talking about a uh, $3,500 grant, uh, I've been asked and I support the, uh, the request to do uh, tonight. And if anybody does have any questions, like I said, the library director is here. Thank you. <laughs> Did I hear a second on that? Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to act on item number seven this evening under suspension of the rules. All those in favor? Opposed? So moved. Uh, does anybody have any questions for the library director? Seeing none, question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Mellon. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. President, I'd like to so make Sullivan. a motion for reconsideration. I hope it doesn't prevail. Second. Motion is made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration? Opposed? Reconsideration fails. Thank you. Uh, before we move on, I'd like to take a moment and uh, welcome two special guests tonight. Uh, uh, Councilor-elect yes. Shana Barnes and Councilor-elect Shirley Azak are here with us tonight. <laughs> and some of what you just saw won't seem so foreign in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Item number eight. Resolved that the students from Stonehill College classes on climate science and environmental ethics be invited to appear before a committee of this council to make a presentation on climate change. Refer to finance. Resolved that the mayor, chief financial officer, and the personnel director be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss limitations on contracts being presented to the city council for a period of six months prior to a city election. Refer to finance. Councilor Monahan. Uh, yes, I make, make, make a motion for a late file. Second. Motion made and second to accept the late file. All those in favor? Opposed? So moved. Uh, Mr. Clerk, could you read the late file? That late file would be the report of the audience committee for its meeting of November 7, 2013. Question is on. Uh, I'm sorry. Accepted. Uh, accept, accepted and placed on file. Okay. An ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton, Chapter 27 Zoning, is hereby amended by it in Section 27-24.3, Medical Use of Marijuana. Questions on the amendment? Questions on the, Questions on the amendment. Uh, all those in favor? Opposed? The amendment is adopted. Question is now on uh, passage, to, passage a to a third reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? The item is passed to a third reading. Any special, any, uh, any special requests this, this evening? Mr. President, I'd like to take a moment of personal purchase if I could. <laughs> I want to, uh, as I do after every election, I want to thank everybody in the city of Brockton who went to the polls last week and voted and did their uh, democratic duty and vote. I also, uh, too, want to welcome the new uh, members that will be joining us in January. And I want to uh, take a, a moment to thank the three colleagues that will not be here on the inaugural day, uh, Mr. Brophy, Mr. Petty, and Mr. McMillan who have done yeoman's work and really been great public servants over the years for the city of Brockton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you to those three. <clears throat> Thank you very much, and we're adjourned.